Does it make sense that our American government has the authority to violate the Constitution? No, that's a contradiction in terms. How do we define what our government is? We define it by the Constitution. Article 1 tells you everything there is to know about Congress. Article 2 tells you everything there is to know about the President and Vice President. Article 3 tells you everything there is to know about the Supreme Court. Articles 1, 2, and 3 create and define the legislative, executive, and judicial branches respectively. Do they have the authority to just add power? Can Supreme Court judges say, well, we're going to do this now? Can the President of the United States say, well, you know, I really haven't been busy enough, and so I'm going to assume the authority to write executive orders and make law for 300 million Americans? Does that sound constitutional to you? It's not. Most of what your government does is unconstitutional. This is your government. It's your constitution. These are your rights that the government is violating. They're putting them in paper. And we, the people, are allowing it to happen. I'm not happy about that. I want to change what my government is doing. I want to limit the power of my elected officials. Now, the Founding Fathers have already given us the instrument to do that. They've already given us the Constitution. They fought the American Revolution. They sat in Philadelphia during the hot summer of 1787. They drew up the Constitution. Whose job is it to enforce the Constitution? Ours. It's our job. The Constitution is only a piece of paper. The only thing that gives the Constitution any strength, any authority, is we the people. Everybody wants liberty. Everybody wants their individual rights. Where does liberty live? Does liberty live in the Declaration of Independence? Does it live in the Constitution? Where does liberty live? It lives in your heart. It's in here. Thomas Jefferson said, you only have the rights that you are willing to fight for. Do I have freedom of speech because somebody wrote the First Amendment back in 1791? No. I have freedom of speech because the government's not big enough to shut me up. I have freedom of speech because, damn it, these are my rights. Nobody gives me my rights. Nobody tells me what I can or cannot say. Nobody tells me where I can or cannot say it. I am one of we the people. The government works for me. We the people have rights. We give the government privileges. And we can take those privileges away anytime we the people have the courage to do so. I am hoping, I am hoping that liberty lives in your heart. You and I are the ones that have the responsibility of confining government power, of reining in their authority, telling them what they can or cannot do. And just because they've written a piece of paper, just because a bunch of guys in jackets and ties have signed it, null and void. It's repugnant to the Constitution. And it doesn't mean anything. It only means what we the people allow it to mean. So, basically, 
we the people are the source of all political power. We have the responsibility of deciding where that power flows. And hopefully, we the people will have the courage to make the, uh, the future United States better than it is right now.